uh, the designated hitter, I should say, Darius Trochet, as Westchester is going to leg out an infield single. Evan Profi dribbling a ground ball down to first base, and Parker Fry makes the fielding play, but he cannot get to the bag. So, Profi 19 for 20 in stolen base attempts, and he has a very healthy lead at first as he fakes going and a line drive the base hit into left field. But Profi is only going to be able to advance to second base of opportunities right now. Nine doubles, four triples, and three homers on the season. The 1-1 one, one pitch bounces up there, gets away from Haverstick. He has no idea where it is. Francisco is going to cover the plate. Runners will advance, and the captain base at first with one out. There's a fly ball. Will it be deep enough to score a run? Let's see. Albus is coming in, and he's going to make the throw. And the run is in. Profi slides in safely, and Westchester has their first run in. And one guy that's on the outside just looking in on that. 0-1 pitch. Ground ball. Roth and Hausler can't get it. Runner crossing third, headed home. Throw is cut off and sliding in safely is Demucci. And it's 2-0 Westchester. Toss to the left, he delivers. And rung up is Mike Kelly. Is at least Haverstick is making him throw some pitches here in this at bat. The neat thing about our roster is there's a lot of Lehigh Valley people on the roster. Chase Albus stands in as Haverstick struck out. That was Costa's second strikeout of the day. It's a 1-2 count on Chase Albus. A low strike, and Albus is rung up. And Wall swings and misses, and the Warriors are retired. No errors. No runs. How does that affect you personally as a coach? I love it. You know, I look over there, and I'll go in Coach K's office in the morning. We'll, we'll have a half a cup of coffee before we start work and talk about uh, either his game or if it's in my season, our game, and we talk about recruiting and the different people. I've known Coach K for over 20 years, and he's a, he's a personal friend of mine. Same, it's just an unbelievable venue. A one pitch on the way, and that is going to get down for a base hit. It might be extra bases as Kelly cuts it off in the corner. The throw is going to be cut off, and standing in with a double is going to be Evan Profi. Very small hole at the top of the fence. I'm not sure that that could even, oh, yeah, probably went off the net and rebounded in. It's a 2-2 count on Baccio, and they've got Demucci caught in a rundown. Oh, and the ball gets away, and Demucci's going to be safe at second. He has to be very selective here. And he lets it go by, and it's called a strike, and he goes down looking. Cam Hubbard did not like that. He will walk back to the dugout. Oh, they have it right. They brought a couch and they put it right across the bed of the pickup truck and it fits perfectly, by the way. Runner goes, brown ball is up the middle. Pietkevich was behind the bag and they cannot make it out anywhere. Out here in the Westchester seventh, they lead two to one. There is a line drive up the middle, base hit. Elliott will turn third as the ball is bobbled by Wall in center field. Elliott is gonna score an insurance run. So he does run. Brito's pitch, ground ball. Zampella backs up on it, plays it, and then it falls out of his glove. Another run scores is coming in from third is Profi. Kadlicek's 1-1 one, one pitch, ground ball. Second baseman has it, miles over to first. And the Warriors are retired. The game is over. Westchester wins game one of the doubleheader and the four-game series. For Westchester, four runs, eight hits, no errors. For the Warriors, two runs on six hits, one error. Julian Costa is the winner. He goes to eight and two on the season. Brent Francisco, his first loss, he's now nine and one.